Um, so that is cute thing by Carsey Headress. It's the like updated version, like it's not the very original version. Um, um, that was like a play along. I totally messed up on the solo, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so if you're following along, don't pay attention to the solo. That don't follow that. Don't copy that. Um, but it is in A sharp. Like you can just noodle around on the A sharp scale, like. like that scale, so if you want to make up your own, which is what I ended up doing because I totally messed up the beginning part. Anyways, um, so I'll go piece by piece for like a tutorial part. So this, the intro, that's just on the 10th fret. It's like a D shape, but like all the way up, yeah, it's like a D shape, but all the way up on the 10th fret, and then you just, pl just play the, um, top three strings and then you put your pinky on the highest E string right below your uh, third finger for the second like strum and then you remove your third finger or your second finger and it sounds really weird but that's what they're going for so it sounds like it's not right but it's right that's what they do <laughs> okay um, and that's for the intro um, and then the main, like, cute thing is B flat, or, um, yeah, B flat. Or, wait, I already messed you up, sorry. <laughs> um, B flat to C major to C minor, so. Yay. Um, and then... Uh, what's the next section? Oh, the the God is um, B. I'm gonna stuff my fan. Uh, or God. So that's B flat to um, E flat to C, well C. So uh, B flat. E flat C B flat, and that's the that's that section. And the second time they do that section, it's a less like I guess syncopated is not really the word, but like the like not so much of the palm muting. It's just more like. But that's the second time around. It's not the first time. Um, that's this part that we just did. Oh, and then this like interlude section. So that's, um, that's E flat to D minor to C minor, and then it's the same chords, but you walk up, so, er, and then it's like, um, uh, my brain's not working, A, B, C, D, E, F, F, because <laughs> the E sharp is something, um, so, it goes up to F after the f you walk up the rest of the chord. So, so. And it does a weird thing. There's like a, I don't know what you'd call it, but it doesn't end, it doesn't land on one. So I'll play along with it. You hear it. Oh, oh oops, sorry. Right here. You hit. But this one's normal. We'll do it one more time. It's like on the end of the beat. Um, and then it goes back to the intro part. But then it goes. Yeah, so. So you'll hear that here. And that's on um, the 13th fret, back down to the 12, 11, 10, 9. Uh, so, and then a bend on 9. And then that's both of those are on the E string. And then 
on the B string, sort of like you wiggle it around to give it that all like vibrato-y sound um, on the 11th fret, so. That. Um, yeah. And then, see the next section. Back to the B flat, C, C minor. And this is the the next section of the yeah that um, and then back to the the interlude instrumental part And then it, so, this part you could either do the same, like, but, it, or, like, pick with, like, pick it to, like, or you could go, that, that one just sounds messy, because it's hard to play these chords all the way up here, so I would do the, And then it goes to this part, the like crunchy, heavy chords. I love how much variation in the guitar tone in, in this song. It's cool, but um, that's like power chords basically. Um, and that is B flat to C sharp to um, or D flat to um, E flat. So. Um, and when you get to the E flat, you go, you basically just take off that your finger, I don't know what you call this, so if you're going, <laughs> you basically removing it, so you're getting this weird sounding, so, just removing these, I don't know how to describe it, but it sounds good. <laughs> um, There's the solo. So, that's the part I messed up, but I can actually play it, I promise you. <laughs> so. That's the, like, main section. So, that's, um, it's, again, it's just all sort of riffing on the A sharp scale. A sharp major scale, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, that's a slide from the 7th to the 8th on the D string. And then the to the um, G on the eighth fret, so or the sixth fret, <laughs> and then to the um, eighth fret again, but on the G string this time. And then slide up with your third finger. Well, there's many ways to do this with your there's many probably more efficient ways to do this, but this is my way by doing it by ear. So. Er. And then slide to the 10th fret. And then with your pinky, go to the 11th fret. This is all on the G string. And then slide back down to the... So you're picking once... Oops. Sliding back down to the 8th fret, so... And then... Er... And then... You're kind of just going back and forth on this G string. And then up to the B string that's right above... The, the B string on the 6th fret, sorry. Uh, so... Er. And then just walking down the scale, so... And then just keep walking down the scale, so like... And then just noodle around on the scale. You could just play, just playing random stuff on those notes um, until the very end. They go, which is the B string on the eleventh fret 
to the uh, 13th fret, to the, oh, let's see, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> And then they do, and you can bend a couple times on that, um, I guess this is 16th fret. On the very last time before you slide down, going pew, to, um, back to the part that you did just before the solo, which is the... And it does that once before doing the... And for that one, you just kind of play a chord anywhere and slide down. I do B flat because that's what it starts on, so it sounds cool when it's all the way up here. <laughs> um, so, oh, so my computer just turned off. Ah, okay, there we go. So, playing the whole solo, um, I'll play it once without the. Actually, I'll play it with the track first. I mean, that's confusing. <laughs> Any chord just slide down. And now this section, just simple chords, very light and easy, all pretty. So, I mean, he's talking about dying in explosion, but not the point. <laughs> he died in it, B flat, and then explosion, D minor, of mixed video, C minor, and poorly F. Um, and then you do just a walk. Up? Yeah, walk up on that F chord. Yeah. That. So. <laughs> he died in an explosion of mixed media and poorly written reviews. Some stammering drunk to the B flats. Um, I mean, they're playing slightly different notes, but it's easiest to just play it on this. Yeah, so. Dying in an explosion of mixed mania and poorly written reviews. And some stammering drone who tried to D minor tell him how good. So, quick, nice way to think about it that is after the good, because I know I keep playing it as. Um, and uh, and try to tell him how good his fit. But that's not right. It's after the lyric, so. You tried to tell him how good his. Wait, now I'm not even playing it right. So yeah, that's what it is. I'll play along with the tracks in here. Please. So it starts on his. Um, I think I just corrected myself. I think I just contradicted myself. So bad Kathleen, but who tried to tell him how good his is? So on the his. Um, so yeah, and then back to F. That's some pretty good stuff, man. Uh, so and then you're kind of like picking arpeggiating is that the word? Um, the chords for this next session. So the B flat. Um, I accidentally spoke his D minor out loud. C or C minor trying to fit in with the E flat. E flat of E flat minor. I love that second so good. So B flat, E minor, C minor, E flat, E minor, or E flat minor, B flat works. C F B flat. So I'll call those out while I play. To B flat. E flat to G minor, C minor, E flat minor. E oh, frick, I messed you up. <laughs> to E flat, E flat minor, B flat. So sorry, I messed that up. E flat, E flat minor. There we go, B flat. C, F, G, B flat. 
And then this part is the same chords as the interlude. So if you're not singing and playing this, just think of it as another interlude. And then last section is this, I don't know what you call it, but again, it's a bunch of heavy distortion and I like it. So, um, so B flat to D minor, D minor, and it's the same, like the pretty good, duh, 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 so it's the same chords for that walk down. So D minor, D minor, and then just going down the frets in the exact same shape to down to the C minor, so. And then on that upbeat, you're going to the to a B flat all the way up on the 13th fret. So it's the same shape as you're playing the B flat down here, but it's a B flat all the way up here. And then an F all the way up on this fret as well. So same shape as an F down here, but up here. <laughs> so So my my hand is going. Um, I'm trying to, this the starting pattern for this is very weird. So just think of it as like sort of going along with the lyric. So I'm love. actually it doesn't go along with the lyrics at all. I don't know why I said that. I think it's because I was singing and playing the song. So to me in my head it's like filling in the blanks. Oh my god, that's another Carsey Harris song. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Um, I guess biggest thing is just accentuate the upbeats because this part's very like contrasting to, to most of the song. So I mean, not really, but it's supposed to sound kind of contrasting. I th contrasting, I think, to the song. So just really accentuate the upbeats. Um, yeah. So and that palm muting and yeah um, and. Uh, and then, and then the, um, I wanna sleep. and then to, this is the weirdest part, it goes B flat to, uh, A, f well, I guess you don't really say A flat, but, um, to, um, G sharp, so B flat to G sharp to E flat, then to C minor, so that would be, And then back to the same pattern. And that's the entire song, and because it just repeats after then, after that. So, yay. Um, that's Car Seat Headrest, cute thing. The, like, rewritten version. Um, and that was my tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Yay. Bye-bye. Have a good day.